this is a continuation of my part two of what I did at a time. Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Praise in the darkest hour. Praise in the darkest hour. But before I, I continue, let me, first of all, salute some men in the house. All of you, I salute all of you. And Mr. Gary, I just want you guys to share, just wave him, wave at him. Hello, Mr. Gary. And the wife, hello. May God bless you. Thank you. I thank the life for Pastor Moses as well. And the wife, Mrs. Delali. Samoa, I thank God for their lives. I have come far uh, with them, and I know the spirit of the Lord, how the spirit of the Lord is working in their lives. They've really impacted my life as well. Amen. Not only my, my life, the life of my, 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 my family, my, my, my marriage, my ministry, my calling, and I thank God for him as well. I thank God for your life, your service to the Lord. May God bless you. May God bless you. Say amen. amen. I want you to rejoice. I want you to come in with an expectation. Today you are not living here the same. I don't know what you came here with, but all I can tell you is that you are not going back the same. Hallelujah. Bible says, they did not receive my word. They did not miss faith with my word. So which means you can be coming to church all the time and you go back with your challenges. And that is not what God demands of us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, have, you, have you asked yourself why God always identifies himself with lions? Lions. He's always talking about the lion. Be bold as a lion. The lion of Judah. God is always identifying himself with lions and eagles. Have you ever asked yourself that question? There's a reason why. Hallelujah. He wants us to be bold as lions. Lions are not the biggest animals in the animal kingdom. You know, we have hippo and elephants. They are bigger than the lion. You know, they are not the smartest. You know, we have hyena and all these other animals. They are smarter. Snakes, they are smarter than the lion. So what, what makes this animal, what makes, what makes him extraordinary when he comes to the scene? That all other animals had to tremble. All other animals had to flee. Why? Why? The only thing I can say is that he's, their belief system is different. When a lion sees, a lion sees an elephant, he sees an elephant as meat to eat. Their belief system is different. This is the reason why Bible has, Bible has asked us to renew our mind daily. We should cast down all other imaginations Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. Which means anything that has not been written. You don't have to accept it. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This morning, I just want us to continue. And so by that, what I mean is that we got to be bold as lions. Be bold as lions. Be bold as lions. The other day, somewhere in um, 2010, 2010, I went out of the country in, uh, to South Africa. I had a job in South Africa, international job, and so I had to go to South Africa. So when I came back later on, six months later, my wife told me of the fact that um, my little daughter, um, Gab Gabby, Gabrielle, there's this hole in her that the doctor says they've identified. And I said, what? Hole in heart? And is it of God? Did it come from God? Where did it come from? I said, the doctor said. So I respect doctors. 
I work with doctors, so I respect doctors. But God has the master plan. So, I will not accept it. I will not accept it. So I told my wife, Julia, I said, Julia, I'm not going to accept this result. And wherever this holding heart came from, it is going back to the sender. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then we began praying. And I started prophesying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I saw this daughter. I saw you when. When you were a cloth of blood in your mother's room, I also saw you. In the name of Jesus. I said, and I prophesied, and I prophesied, and I prophesied. I said, Julia, I'm not taking this resolve. And when we went back to the doctor, the doctor to the hospital, it has disappeared. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Children of God, I just want you to know who you serve. You are not serving a man. Psalm 118 verse 8, they say, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 9 says, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes, in a princess. Hallelujah. Kandariya Baba. Mazinde Kandariya Baba. I don't know what is going on in your life. But this morning, I can sense in my spirit that anything that you came here for, you are here. On appointment. That is how you have to take it. You are not here just to, to be at the service. You are not here Sunday just to come and, you know, see beautiful people, greet people, and just go back home with your troubles and you hiding over there in your room and crying. Today, today, today must be the last stop of your challenges. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Masinde Kanduria Baba. Masinde. Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel 37. Thank you, Jesus. Persistence breaks resistance. Persistence breaks resistance. Any resistance in your life, this morning, as I begin, to preach and as, as I begin to preach, the prophecies that comes, just receive it in your spirit. Receive it in your spirit. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what you're going through, but the Spirit of the Lord knows. And you heard the confirmation that came, the fire of the Holy Ghost, which is here today. There's no way that you can go back the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It could be your prayer life. It could be a battle of your prayer life. It could be your marriage. Yes, it could be your marriage. Things going on. You are just sitting for the enemy to encroach on your marriage and to tear the marriage apart. No, your children. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how dry that bone is. Today, you are going to prophesy on that dry bone in your life. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. 2000 and 2011, 2011, 2012. When we came in from Ghana, we had to live with a family. In fact, we thank God for that, that family. But it got to a time, after about a month or two, um, we almost became homeless. Almost become, became homeless. And... Uh, um, it, it happened that our, uh, the guys that we're living with, very beautiful family, it happened that they had to relocate to Maryland. We were here fresh, and I came with my wife and five kids. And so um, he actually was advising me that, Bala, you see, when I put pen on paper and we calculate all these things, with your family, you coming with your family, Bala, uh, Things are going to be so bad for you. Yes, yes. You, how many kids do you have? I say, you know, five kids. And you know, so six dependents. Bala, so how are you going to survive? How, you know, how are you going to survive? Bala, you can't make it. I have only two kids. And I am an officer in the military and still struggling. 
And you coming in with five kids, how can you survive? And this whispering kept on going on. And I said, I will not accept it. I said, I will not accept it. You are my friend, but we got to talk as men. You sit in the front, you know, you are always at the front seat of the church. Yes, what you are saying is true, but where does your citizenship come from? Is your citizenship of this world or your citizenship in heaven? And uh, he said, oh, I know my citizenship is in heaven, but, but I'm talking about reality. And I said, well, <laughs> what is much more real than the word of God? Amen. What is much more real than the word of God? So there was a hot thing going on in the midnight, myself and him. And we were, it was, it was the battle of words in the spirit, not in the negative sense, but the battle we were using the word of God. I said, don't let us use, we are not of this world. We, our citizenship is in heaven. Let us use the heavenly language. Yes, I'm here new, but I can tell you for a fact that all that you think, you are thinking now, it is not of God. It is not coming from God. The enemy is using you to speak to me. And I will not accept it. Amen. Amen. So, <laughs> uh, to fast track it, we were there one time when I just came from work. That time, you know, I've started a part-time job, you know, working, you know. So, Father, hey, you got to let it work. <laughs> working here, working here and there, two, three jobs. And so one day I just came home and realized that they were packing their stuff out of the house. So, so I came and said, ah, what is happening? So Bala, I told you, I got to move to Maryland with my wife and kids. And like I told you, I don't know how you're going to survive, but I'm leaving. The U-Haul is there. I said, no, let me help you. Let me. But whilst I was even helping him to, you know, pack the things from the, the house and all this, I was still thinking. I said, ah, God. Daddy, prove yourself as God. You brought me here not to fail me. And you have never failed me before. You have never failed me yet. You never violate your word. You are your word. Daddy, speak. Daddy, speak. My situation. And as I said that, I had the Holy Spirit telling me, you must speak. He's already done it. You must claim it and prophesy and prophesy and prophesy. Hallelujah. Give a clap offering unto the Lord. And so, um, it happened that when, after helping him pack most of the things in the house, I just went in, I just took my shower, I just washed down a little bit, and when I got into the room, just for about five minutes, it was in a trance. And I heard Somebody just speaking at the door. The door wasn't closed. And I heard a voice at the door. Bala, I have called you not to be troubled. I have called you not to be dismayed. I have called you. I have called you. Whatever you say with your lips, or whatever comes out of your lips, I will do. And so I just stand. I thought it was Julia. So I just stand. And I was the only one upstairs in the second floor. So I just went downstairs and asked Julia, Julia, were you there in the room right now? She said, no, I'm here with the kids. I'm just feeding the kids. And they were just, I said, no, somebody just spoke to me. And Julia said, ah, I wasn't there. Probably God spoke to you. I said, no, is it God? No, come on, let's keep on. Let's, let's, let's make the move. Let's get out. Let's, let's stop something. We started making calls. We started making calls. And by the grace of God, that very day, that very day, without even having anybody to co-sign with us, God gave us our own apartment, our place of abode. And then we moved in. We moved in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will not bring you far to fail you. I want to provoke you this morning a little bit. God will never bring you far to fail you. Hallelujah. Whatever he has begun in your life, he will bring it to completion. Hallelujah. 
without faith, it is impossible to please God. That is one thing you must know. Without faith, it is impossible. God needs your faith to accomplish all the things that he has said concerning you. Hallelujah. He is not a God who violates his word. His word is his word. He is only trapped by his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the reason why you got to depend on the word. Depend on the word. And have that kind of, uh, that kind of heart for him. That kind of faith in him. That come what may. He will deliver you from the mark of the lion. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what your marriage is going, you are going through in your marriage. It doesn't matter your children. Hallelujah. Our God, he's able to heal. He's able to save. He's able to deliver in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Few years down the line, as we go to that place, I said, Julia, it doesn't matter. I'm the only one working. God has added another baby to our six. God is not limited by numbers. He's not limited by any geographical position. We just use the universal currency, and that is faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I kept on prophesying. See, Julia, we are going to buy our own house. We are going to buy, live in our own house. We are going to live in our own house. Don't worry. Don't worry what people say. Where are all these friends who were all saying negative stuff and all this? Where are all of them? Where are all of them? Children of God, be mindful of the voices that you hear. Be mindful of the kind of friends that you keep around you. Be mindful and know who you are. Know who you are. Know who you are. Hallelujah. He is with you. I don't mind whether you are underground or what. He is with you. Wherever you are, God is with you. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to just give a, high, a, a, a praise. Just, just shout. A shout of praise unto the Lord. A shout of praise unto the Lord. A shout of praise unto the Lord. There is something I told you the other time. I don't know much, but there's one thing I can do is to boast about Jesus, my God, all the time. Amen. The enemy thought he was going to trap us, to cause us to fail, so that he would laugh at our God. But the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. You were here when I gave a testimony of how God himself led us and we bought our first house. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Write it down. How about chapter 2? Write your vision down. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. And prophesy over it every time. Prophesy. You are a prophet of your own life. You are the priest of your own life. Don't wait for Bala. Don't wait for Pastor Moses. You are the priest. Prophesy with your mouth. What do you say with your mouth? What do you say? Oh, things are getting crazy. Oh, I don't know why. You use your mouth. We cast our destiny with our mouth all the time. If you can change the way you think and change the way you speak, brother, things will happen very good for you. Hallelujah. You will see the hand of God in everything because he's able to do all things. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above, far beyond that you can even ask or imagine. Hallelujah. According to the power that works in you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ezekiel chapter 37. The hand of the Lord came upon me. The hand of the Lord came upon me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was full of bones. Hallelujah. Say bones. Yes. And then he caused me to pass by them all around. And behold, there were very many. They, there were very many in the open valley. 
And indeed, they were very dry. Hallelujah. I want your bones to be dry. I want that marriage to be so dry. That marriage is so dry. Your education might be very dry. Your prayer life might be very dry. Your ministry might be very dry. Your gift might be very dry. But today, you will see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so he caused me to pass by them around, and behold, there uh, they were very many in the open valley, and indeed, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O oh Lord, O oh Lord God, you know. Again, he said to me, he said, O oh Lord God, he answered, O oh Lord God, you know. That means he didn't even know his stand. It is God, it is only God who knows whether these bones can come back alive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So I answered, and uh, oh Lord, you know. Again, he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, oh dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Prophesy to these bones and say to them, oh dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. That says the Lord God to these bones. Surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. I will put sinews, which is tissue, on you and bring flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is God speaking to us all. The dry bones. I don't know the dry bones that you are experiencing right now. It could be your marriage. It could be your children. It could be your education. It could be your health. The dry bones of your health. But there is nothing that our God cannot do. He says, prophesy. He didn't say cry. He didn't say go pick a phone and call somebody a friend. He said prophesy to the bones. Are you prophesying to the bones? Oh, the situation with your grandkids. And you always pick phone and you call the counselor. It's not bad calling all these counselors and psychologists and all this. But God says prophesy. He said prophesy to that situation. Oh, your bank account. That is empty. Because you prophesy. Prophesy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to mix the word of God this morning with faith. Hallelujah. He's not slack concerning his promises. Whatever thing he says comes to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Masika to kaya basinde. He masanda kanduri ya baba. He masinde kanduri baba. So I continue. Verse 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise and suddenly a rattling. And the bones came together. Hallelujah. Bone to bone. Hallelujah. Indeed. As I looked, the sinews or the tissue and the flesh came, came upon them. And flesh came upon them. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And the skin covered them over. But there was no breath in them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And also, also he said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, 
that says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on this slain, that they may live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I prophesied as he commanded, and breath came into them, and they lived, and they stood upon their feet. An exceedingly great army. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is the God that we serve. This is the God who is able to heal. He is able to deliver. He is able to save, regardless of your situation. Hallelujah. Prophesy to your situation. Prophesy on your kids. Prophesy on your marriage. Your marriage is going wayward. It doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. Begin to prophesy. Prophesy. Your bank account, your job, your promotion, things are holding back. Prophesy in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Masando Kanduria Baba. Masinde Kanduria Baba. Masinde Kanduri Baba. I see somebody's marriage coming alive right now. I see somebody's marriage coming alive right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see somebody's finances coming alive right now. In the name of Jesus. In the Can you just begin to prophesy your situation right now? Just open your mouth and begin to prophesy your situation. Prophesy. Prophesy. You prophesy. Prophesy on your marriage. Prophesy on your finances. Prophesy on your ministry. Prophesy. Prophesy. Prophesy on your education. Oh, your children. Your grandchildren. Prophesy on them. Prophesy. Lift up your voice and prophesy. Prophesy. Let your situation hear the word of the Lord. Masin the candle, but the dry bones, the dry bones in your finances. Masin, hear the word of the Lord. I prophesy, come back alive. Oh, let my health come back alive. My health, my health, in the name of Jesus. My health is coming back alive. My ministry is coming back alive. Masin the candle, Baba. Masin the candle, Baba. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bible says in Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24. And it came to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Masanda Kanduri Ababa. Masinde Kandori Baya Baba. Masinde Kandori Ababa Maya Masinde. He Masinde Kandori Baba. He Maya Masinde Kandori Baba. God wants you to call. He wants you to call. He wants you to call. Don't wait for things to happen. Things just don't happen like I said all the time. When you are praying about something and things are not showing up, it means there's something holding it back. You should know there are two kingdoms reigning right now. But our God is supreme. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to push. You got to push. Be persistent. Be consistent with your prayer. Hallelujah. Until you see it happen, don't give up in your prayers. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Masin de Kanduria Baba. Masin de Kanduria Baba. And whilst I, ca- I kept on prophesying, I kept on prophesying, I kept on prophesying, I kept on prophesying, I kept on prophesying in the name of Jesus. In the midnight hour, you get up and you prophesy. You prophesy in the midnight hour. Guys, in the midnight hour, a lot of things happen in the midnight hour. If you want to change the course of events in your life, in your marriage, in your ministry, in your calling, your children, you see them going wayward. Child of God, wake up in the midnight hour and begin to engage in a serious warfare. I told you the other time, there are giants on your promised land. There are always giants on your promised land. On your promised land. So you just got to get up, wake up, and engage in a warfare and claim whatever thing that is yours. Hallelujah. 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 It could be an unsaved soul in your family. 
How many times have you prayed for family members who are unsaved? It is not all about you. It's not all about the big homes and the big houses and the big cars. Lives are perishing day in, day out. The enemy is winning in certain issues. The enemy is winning. They are winning the souls of our kids. And we just look and just, you know, relax ourselves, you know, stand aloof. Let the enemy destroy our marriages and our kids and our businesses and our finances. And waiting that one day things will change. Things will not change until you get up and engage it. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Masinde kanduri ababa. Masinde kanduri abasinde kanduri ababa. And what things and whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive, you shall have it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you believing that things are changing? Are you believing that your prayer life is changing? Are you believing that your marriage has changed? Do you, have you guys heard of Yonggi Cho? Have you heard of Yonggi Cho? Yes. One lady went to the, 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 the pastor, yeah, Yonggi Cho. He, he's a man with you know, a very large ministry internationally. And a lady went to Yonggi Cho and uh, the lady was saying that, uh, man of God, you have to pray for my daughter. My daughter's life, you will not, you will not, you don't need to hear that. But she, her life, she's living a very bad life. She's a bad girl. She's, she's, she's a bad girl working with all rough guys and gangs and all this. And after the man of God listened to her, he said, I can't pray for you. And I can't pray for your daughter. He said, why can't you pray for me? Why can't you pray for her? He said, no. You have destroyed your own daughter's future with your lips. What are the words that you say? You have destroyed your own daughter's future. There, even if I am to pray for you, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen because you have destroyed your own daughter's life with your words. She's a bad girl. She, she, she will amount to nothing. You are like your Father, you, she, you know. So we got to change the way we speak. So the man of God had to ask. He asked her to go back and re reframe the way you think and let it affect the way you speak and then come back again. If you want, begin from this day. Begin to use good words. Go, oh, thank the Lord for your daughter. Do you just forget about all the things that She's going through right now and just use the right wish. Say, oh, thank God, my daughter is saved. Thank God, my daughter is saved. Thank God, thank God. Just prophesy good things unto your daughter even whilst she's there with these gangs. And when the lady did that, two months after, she came back with a daughter to visit the man of God and the daughter has given her life to Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. What do you, what do you speak with your mind? Your finances. You're always talking about negative things. So I should be talking about negative. Oh, I have six kids, and you know what? Things are not working. You will never see me doing that. I study it from the word. That death and life are in the power of the tongue. So... Please don't use your, your, your mouth wisely. Use it to say things that are profitable. Use it, to say, use it to chart the course of your life, the course of your marriage, the course of your finances, your ministry. Hallelujah. If you see any sickness, begin to prophesy. Prophesy. Command that sickness to disappear. You prophesy. You may not know what is happening right now. You may see it there, but over time, it will just disappear. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Masinde kanduri ababa. Masinde kanda kanduri bayababa. Masinde kikoto kaya basinde. He kanda kikoto kaya basinde. He masinde kanduri ababa. For where two or three 
are gathered together in my name. I am there in the midst of them all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are gathered here. When two or three, we are more than two or three, right? So why is God not? He is here in our midst. Hallelujah. He is here in our midst. You are not going back the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Use your faith to claim whatever thing that God has released to you by grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Masinde Kanduri Baba. He Masinde Kanduri Baba. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And in that day, you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever thing you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Hallelujah. He will give you. This is John chapter 16, verse 23. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Masinde Kanduriya Baba Maya Masinde. Masinde Kanduriya Baba Masinde Kanduriya Baba. He Masinde Kanduriya Baba. Why don't you prophesy on your business? You see your business, international business. Prophesy. Prophesy. You see your ministry, your calling. You are in other nations feeding the needy, the poor, orphans. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, see yourself as the way God sees you. Don't see yourself as the world sees you. In the name of Jesus. In the name the world has nothing better to offer you. In the name of Jesus. Masinde Kandori Baba. You are not who you think you are. You are not who you think you are. You are not who the word of God says you are. You are not who your friends tell you you are. You are not who your mother or your father tells you you are. You are who the word of God says you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say to yourself, I am who the word of God says I am. I can do what the word of God says I can do. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You are a chosen generation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. A royal diadem. A royal diadem. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Don't accept anything which is not of God. Don't accept it. Don't accept it in Jesus' name. Delight yourself also. Delight yourself also in the Lord. And he shall give you the desires of your heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 